Hello. I hope I'm audible. Dear viewers of our regional center coaching Facebook session, we cordially welcome you to this live session on the IGNO admission programs for July 2021. Thank you very much for joining in this live session of regional center coaching. This uh, session is being organized in view of the ongoing July 2021 admissions that the university has announced and regional center coaching is offering a number of programs in various uh, disciplines. The purpose of this particular session is to provide our viewers detailed information highlighting the computer and information science programs offered by Indira Gandhi National Open University through its regional center and coaching. As you all are aware, information technology and information technology enabled services are very much requirement of the day and there is a need for competent workforce on this front and probably our programs would cater to those requirements of our potential learners. So this particular session I will be talking to you about these programs in detail. In the beginning, I would give you a small gist about this university, Indira Gandhi National Open University, and move on in detail to the programs being offered by IGNO under the School of Computer and Information Sciences. IGNO, or Indira Gandhi National Open University, was established by an Act of Parliament in the year 1985. At the time of its inception and its, or its formation, it was with very clear objectives. One primary objective is to democratize higher education by taking it to the doorsteps of our learners. IGNO strives to provide access to high quality education to all who seek it, irrespective of the barriers of age, region, religion, and gender. IGNO offers need-based academic programs, a way of giving a professional and vocational orientation to the courses. 
and also ignore us for the promotion and development of distance education in India. Now let me, for the benefit or the interest of our viewers, to know about this university. The major achievements are, as you can see on the screen, IGNO has emerged to be the largest open university in the world. IGNO has been recognized as the center of excellence in distance education by the Commonwealth of Learning. IGNO has been conferred the award of excellence for distance education material by the Commonwealth of Learning. IGNO gives a lot of importance to media or the multimedia component and therefore there is the launch of a, a series of 24-hour educational channels, the Gyandarshan, and IGNO is a nodal agency for these channels. And regular transmission are done through the studios at the Electronic Media Production Center, EMPC at IGNO. And there is this provision for the all facility for live interaction for the benefit of our students. Student enrollment in this Open University has reached 3 million. UNESCO in the year 2010 declared IGNO as the largest institution of higher learning in the world. IGNO has the largest, has the largest network of learner support system to cater to the requirements of learners across the country and even beyond. IGNO is also having the rare kind of achievement in terms of being the first open university in the country accredited with the highest A++ grade by the National Assessment and Accreditation Council or the NAC. So that is about this university and we will move further to know a little more about this and we move on to the programs. So IGNO programs uh, overall I would say is being offered by the 21 schools of studies which offer programs in various disciplines. If you look at the programs that IGNO is offering, every program is towards fulfilling a particular need of the learner, learner or some specified learner needs are being catered to. One of the primary requirements would be for the learners for certification, to have a formal certification of the knowledge and skills that they acquire. Many of IGNO programs are towards improvement of their skills, gaining some valuable skills which would help them to be more competent on their work, work hand. IGNO provides a platform for acquisition of professional qualifications to people across the age. Number of continuing education and professional development programs are there in IGNO, which helps one to enhance or grow further at their workplace. A number of programs also cater to the need for self-enrichment of the learner. Diversification, updating of knowledge is also one of the learner needs which is catered to by many of the programs. And of course, it strives towards empowerment of our learners. So therefore, any program has these particular kind of learner needs being met. Now, a little about the Regional Centre Kuchin from where we are hosting this uh, program for you. IGNO Regional Centre Kuchin provides open and distance education in the, in the region under its ju jurisdiction and that is the six districts of Kerala, namely Ernakulam, Trishur, Palakkad, Kottayam, Idiki, Alapura and the Union Territory of Lakshadweep. If you look at the programs that the uh, regional centre offers, it ranges from the certificate to diploma, postgraduate diploma, bachelor and master's level program. Now coming to this uh, important aspect of this session that is about the July 2021 IGNO admissions. The programs on offer include certificate level programs, diploma programs, postgraduate diploma, degree and postgraduate degree programs. Now this particular session we have slotted for our viewers primarily for in the area of or focusing primarily in the area of computer and information sciences because many of our uh, viewers, there are a lot of potential people who would like to gain some uh, degree in this particular area given the kind of potential or the job potential in this particular set. And that is why today we have chosen computer information science programs being offered by the university which is currently on offer for July 2021. 
which means that you can now enroll for this program as the admissions are going on currently. So let me take you to, uh, to these programs which are there in the university. For the Regional Center Kuchin, IGNO is offering the Certificate in Information Technology program or the CIT program, which is a certificate level program. Apart from that, IGNO is offering the Postgraduate Diploma program or the PGDCA for the graduates to pursue further and take a PG diploma. Apart from that, IGNO is offering a bachelor's level program that is the BCA and at the master's level the NCA program is being offered. I would like to tell our viewers or inform our viewers that the Computer Information Sciences program has been one of the popular programs of the university since its inception and given the requirements of the job market and otherwise we have not good number of learners especially youngsters who come in to pursue these programs so that they move ahead with gainful employment in the future or they are able to enhance their skills uh, as they move ahead of their career. So I will now come to each of these programs in detail so that it will benefit for our learners to know about, for our viewers to know about. The first is a certificate in information technology or also known in short as the CIT program. CIT program, as I had mentioned to you already, that it is a certificate level program, which means it is of a six months duration. Six months duration, when I mean, I mean is the minimum duration to complete. That is, IGNO offers admissions twice a year. That is for the January session and for the July session. And currently, as I mentioned, the July cycle of admissions is open. So every January and July, this particular program is on offer. Now the minimum duration for this program is six months. And there is a maximum uh, period given, which is two years. Given that IGNO is offering open and distance education programs, you would notice that the duration of our programs are always listed in terms of the minimum duration and in terms of the maximum duration. Taking into consideration that our learners would be engaged in multifarious activities or multifarious roles and therefore there is always this flexibility inbuilt. In fact, one hallmark of IGNO programs is the inbuilt uh, flexibility that it offers. And therefore, this particular program to quote here has a minimum of six months duration and a maximum of two years duration. Now this program, it states the eligibility, that is the entry requirement to join or enroll for this program is stated as 10th pass or the SSC or the DLC from the Microsoft or equivalent. That is anybody who fulfills this eligibility criteria or beyond can easily enroll for this certificate in information technology program. And the medium of instruction is English. The fee for the program is also listed here as you can see on the screen. But the few more benefit uh, for our uh, viewers would be to know about what exactly this program looks into or what exactly it covers. In fact, it uh, provides inputs on the fundamentals of computer system and information technology and also it provides familiarity to the advanced technologies such as the multimedia and the internet. You would agree with me that in this era of the internet, these are the basic requirements that anybody needs to know. The students are also given a practical course where they get hands-on experience in areas such as word processing, spreadsheets, presentation tools, databases, and website development. Also, to some extent, they get a little bit of programming using the C language. So this basically, look, I'm just detailing this primarily because our uh, viewers would like to know about the benefit of doing this program. A short six month program gives them some basic idea and a little beyond as well about the basics of information technology which generally is a requirement of the current times. And we often see that good number of our students who are uh, joining in this program are they those from the undergraduate programs, youngsters, good number of them they are, they are showing keen interest in this area as they, it helps them uh, to have upward mobility. That's about the Certificate in Information Technology program. 
So when we come to the next program, which is the postgraduate diploma in computer applications, and this has been, if you look at the, the prospectus of the university, which is uh, provided in the uh, IGNO website, that is uh, www.igno.ac.in, it is listed as the PGDCA new, just indicating the current program of uh, on offer. That is a program code which is being listed to identify the program. It is the postgraduate diploma in computer applications or the PGDCA that we usually refer to. Now, if you look at this program, as you can guess, the eligibility is a bachelor's degree. But there are some requirements stipulated for this eligibility, which is any bachelor's degree of minimum three year duration from a recognized university, and in addition, mathematics as one of the subjects at the 10 plus 2 level or graduation level is given as a required eligibility. Now, in case the person does not have this particular requirement, then the other option is that a bachelor's degree of minimum three years duration from a recognized university. And those who do not have mathematics as one of their subjects at the 10 plus 2 level or the graduation level, it will provide an option for them also to enroll for the PGDCA, but they are required to successfully complete a course called the DCS 012 uh, as a bridge course so that they are also having entry to, to this PGDCA program. A requirement or an essentiality to obtain at least 50% marks in the qualifying examination is also mentioned in the prospectus why students apply for this. The medium of instruction is in English and the PGDC as we know is a minimum of one year duration and there is of course the maximum period of three years and this program also is an offer on both the sessions, the January and the July session of admissions. The fee uh, structure is also provided and but the students are only required to pay the fee only semester wise and that is also indicated here on the slides which you can uh, here and non math students, since they have to do an additional DCA 012, an additional uh, fee towards that particular course is to be done. So, this PGDCA program is basically to prepare our graduate students you know, who, who have some interest in the area of computer applications to go into some productive careers in the software industry if they want to move into that particular industry. It provides them an option or an opportunity to do so. So, therefore, the trust is on giving the students a sound background in the theoretical and application oriented courses relevant to the latest computer software development. And therefore, this program emphasizes the application of software technology and to solve mathematical, computing, communications, networking, and other commercial problems. So, if you look at this uh, program, uh, this one year duration, as I mentioned, and it follows a semester approach, which means there are two semesters uh, for this program and is overall aimed at the skill development in computers using various technologies. And it prepares the students to aim for a, as a program level or a web development developer in the software, in a software company to design and develop some programs and get into some gainful employment. So that is the overall kind of objective in place. As you would recall, there are some particular learner needs that every new program caters to. And this particular program is towards addressing the need or desire of those learners who want to move into this particular area after their graduation. So let me come to the next program, which is the Bachelor of Computer Applications. So as we know, it is a bachelor's degree program. And this is uh, in terms of the eligibility or the entry to it, it is for anybody who has done a 10 plus 2 or its equivalent. And they want to get into a career in this area of computing or IT, uh, then they, they should definitely consider this program that is a Bachelor of Computer Applications. And uh, once they do this, they can further go ahead to upward kind of uh, their program with the BMC program of the university. And uh, by way of doing this program, they are equipped to have some basic competence, knowledge, and skills in the area of. Uh, computer applications and thereby go ahead for some kind of entry level job in the field of information technology or ITES. So this program is of minimum three years being a bachelor's degree program and there is a maximum six years the flexibility which I mentioned given that our learners may be employed or may be doing some other activities there is a maximum leverage of six years. 
and this program is currently on offer for the July 2021 session as well. And the fee structure is coming to um, the semester mode that the students have to uh, remit the, the fees. So the bachelor's degree program also we see good number of uh, students are inquiring and it, it provides a platform for those people, especially those who are not able to go in for a conventional mode of doing the DCA program. This provides them a very suitable avenue to do their bachelor's degree in computer applications. And uh, in these programs, in fact, all programs of IGNO, uh, the computer programs of IGNO particularly, I'm, I'm talking about those programs now, that is, we have both theory and practical courses. So uh, the practical courses, because it is very essential that we acquire the required skills, uh, the practicals are given compulsory, which means that every learner gets an opportunity to go through hands-on training or doing the practical components, which in turn is the most important thing as they move ahead to a profession where a lot of programming and actual software development and other things are required. So practicals have its own importance in the IGNO program structure. When you can go through the program structure of all these programs in the prospectus, this details out in almost all the semesters practical or lab courses are in are inbuilt as a mechanism to ensure that the learners acquire the required skills on a practical side as well, apart from the theoretical component. So let me uh, come to the, uh, the master's level program that uh, IGNO is offering, that is the MCA program or the Master of Computer Applications program. So this program, uh, again, the eligibility is at, on two levels or, 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 on, or in terms of two uh, potential learners who could come in. One is those who have passed the BCA or the BSc Computer Science or IT or the Bachelor's Degree in Computer Science Engineering or Equivalent Degree and they should have obtained at least 50 percent marks in the qualifying examination to be eligible to get entry into the Master of Computer Application Program. Now those, are those, uh, those uh, learners or those who are keen, uh, the potential learners who are bachelor's degree holders within the three years duration and they have maths as one of the subjects in the temples to level or graduation, they have to obtain at least a 50% mark of the qualifying examination and successfully complete the PGDCA program of IGNO, which I just mentioned because we know that that is a one year or a two semester program. So that is given as part of the requirement so that the upward mobility and understanding the concepts become easier. So that is one of the requirements of pursuing the MCA program as is listed in the uh, IGNO prospectus. And this is a program with minimum two years and a maximum of four years uh, duration. And this is also on offer on both the sessions of the both the cycles of admissions. And uh, I would like to again highlight that July 2021 20, admissions, which is currently open, the MCA is one program which our uh, viewers can try to uh, know more detail and enroll. And the fee structure also, uh, again, distance programs is on a semester mode. So that is uh, in the, that is in particular about the details of these programs. That is uh, to uh, summarize those uh, programs. I would say is that there are programs at four levels. That is one is the uh, CIT program. That is the computer. Uh, Certificate Information Technology Program, the PG, PGDCA Program, and the uh, Bachelor's DCA Program, and the MCA Program. So the next question is, uh, how do one, uh, how can one apply for this uh, admissions, that is the July 2021 admissions? Uh, what you have to do is you have to visit the IGNO website, that is www.ignou.ac.in and the entire process is online. That is, you have to apply for the admissions online in the online portal, which you can very easily disable once you go to the IGNO website. Apply on that particular, uh, click on the particular link given there, and you apply online for this uh, admission. And you can, as you go for this uh, admission, you find that the page in the website will look something like this. Okay, this is going to be the as a screenshot of the, uh, of the uh, online admission portal that you would see once you log in or you enter into the IGNO website. And here, as you can see on your screens, the last date is clearly shown there. And it's, it gives there about, you know, you click here for new registration. 
So somebody who wants to join in this university or enroll in the university, you have to first register here in the online portal. And uh, as you know, in most portals are in the same system, so you have to first go in for a new registration, give in your particular username and get into that. Once you are registered, then you get your uh, login details and henceforth from there you can log in and you can proceed with your uh, submitting your application. Even in, the, in that process, everything is stage-wise mentioned and you can go ahead with providing your basic details, then your other particulars and also your certificates can be uploaded and finally the fee can be paid. And as you do any particular uh, kind of stay updation on this or submission of your form, you get intimation uh, in your uh, mail ID which you would have given to the university or some kind of information you would be getting about confirmation of your admission and that way you would come to know about all the status of your application. So it's a very user friendly uh, process and that is how all the learners in the university are joining. And this is the screenshot of that particular page as of now where the last date for submission of application is now indicated as 15th of July 2021. Now, uh, if, let me come back once again to this because I would like to highlight or this particular session is to highlight our viewers on this particular discipline that is the computer information science programs which university is offering. So that is if uh, those uh, persons who are at the 10 plus 2 level or the 10th and beyond, they would like to do some basic qualification during their graduation or even later on then they have this option to do a very short relatively short term program which is a certain information technology or the six months program which is a CIT program which provides some basic inputs about the IT. So that is uh, what can be concurrently done along with their graduation also to those who are keen to do, uh, get some information on that, knowledge on that. And uh, by way of doing this in a short six months period, they, can, they are able to get a certificate from the national university which is in IGNO and which should help them in the long run. The other program is the postgraduate diploma in computer applications which is after the graduation students can join and uh, they, would, they want to move into this particular stream of computer applications. So that side of uh, the discipline or that kind of a sector then this is, a, this is an option for them to again entry into by way of doing with PGDCA and then there is after the 10th plus to those who want to pursue their graduation and beyond masters, there is the bachelor's and the uh, master's level program in computer applications. Uh, for the benefit of our uh, learners, I would also like to uh, share with them this useful information. That is, as you go through the IGNO website, uh, you get some queries or you would like to know more about some particular details uh, of the program or if you face any kind of query at some stage of your submission of an application form, you are welcome to write to us at the email ID, which is rccoaching at ignore.ac.in. That's you can make you can email us. Apart from that, Igno has its website, Regional Centre Coaching has its website and uh, Facebook, which is really where we are we are addressing you to the Facebook of Regional Centre Coaching, and there is also the Twitter account for Regional Centre Coaching. So this is in gist which I would like to highlight to our learners so that uh, you could uh, make use of this information and also I have a request that you please share this information to a good number of people around you because this university is primarily with the objective to reach across and provide that particular option or an opportunity for those who are very keen to pursue a program and with the flexibility or the inbuilt flexibility of open and distance education to provide them a very convenient platform to gain uh, some uh, certification in the area of computer and information uh, sciences. So this is uh, what I would like to leave you with this particular information and if you have any queries you could kindly uh, interact with us on the chat room. Thank you very much for your very uh, patient listening and being with us on the FB Live. Thank you very much.